If you want to prepare a quick and tasty appetizer or side dish out on your grill, today I'm going to show you how to make maple bacon Brussels sprout bites. Say that three times fast. So when I was a kid, I didn't like Brussels sprouts. When I got older, I figured out the way to really like them was to wrap them in bacon or chop up bacon and saute them in there. Now, as an adult, I do like Brussels sprouts on their own, but adding bacon to them just elevates that flavor so much more. Today, we're gonna be making them out on the grill in a cast iron pan, cooking them indirect. And we have five ingredients. We have Brussels sprouts that have been halved. We've got bacon, which has been cut in half. We have maple syrup, about a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and a lime. We're gonna be adding that juice of that lime right near the end of the cooking process out on the grill. First thing I need to do is just add the cayenne to the maple syrup. And we're just gonna stir this up with the brush we're gonna be using to put it on the bacon. To cut down on some of the mess, I'm gonna be using a plastic cutting board on top of my bamboo cutting board. So we're just gonna separate these bacon strips Probably gonna need somewhere around 14 or 15 half strips in order to wrap all the Brussels sprouts. This is just your standard store-bought bacon. You can use any kind you want. So now I'm just gonna take this cayenne maple mixture and brush it on this bacon. Give it that nice coating, good color. You can leave the cayenne out if you don't want it to be spicy, although this amount isn't gonna be that spicy. Now we're only doing one side of the bacon here. You don't have to do both. I'm gonna get the rest of it brushed up and then we'll start wrapping the Brussels sprouts. Now that the bacon is all brushed with that maple cayenne mixture, we're gonna wrap these Brussels sprouts. Now you can see this is a halved Brussels sprout. It's already cut in half here. Let's take our piece of bacon, lay that on the tray, and now we're gonna lay our Brussels sprout upside down with the flat side up. You might have some with you know, two flat sides if it was cut into thirds, but we are just going to overlap, wrap our bacon, just like that. That's what we want it to look like when we're done. We're gonna set this aside and keep wrapping. What you want is the seam side of the bacon on the bottom so that on the top you just have flat bacon. All right, our bacon is wrapped around our Brussels sprouts. Let's get it out to the grill and into that cast iron pan. Okay, the Weber kettle's up to temp, a little over 300 degrees. It'll probably go up to about 350 and stay in that range. That's perfect for what we're gonna be doing with this cast iron pan. So let's get these maple bacon Brussels sprout bites on there. You can see we've preheated our little eight inch cast iron skillet. So here goes our bacon wrapped Brussels sprouts. Already getting a sizzle from that preheated pan. Get our last little one shoved in there. There we go. Now we just need to put the cover on, let them cook. So these are probably gonna take anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes. We're gonna be checking them with a knife to make sure that those Brussels sprouts are tender. Be poking it in there, letting the bacon get as crisp as we want. So I'll bring you back when it's time to check them, probably in about 20, 25 minutes. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes. Let's take a look and see how we're doing. Looking good, we're sizzling there. I'm gonna rotate the skillet here. Now I'm gonna put the lid back on, let it keep cooking. Check it again in about 15 minutes. All right, it's been about 40 minutes. I let it go an extra 10 minutes here. Let's see how we're looking. Those look good. Now, if you like yours crispier or darker than that, you can let them go, but that's just about perfect for me. I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of lime juice on here. Let's do a quick check of tenderness for the Brussels sprouts. Oh yeah. 
Those are good. All right, there are our maple bacon Brussels sprout bites. Got that all out in one mouthful. <laughs> and it's time to give them a taste. All right, here we go. I've taken a couple out of the cast iron pan. These are cooked just to my liking. Remember, I like floppy bacon. If you've watched any of my videos with bacon, I always say that. Let's give these a shot. Mmm. Oh, that maple really comes through. As I mentioned before, as an adult, I like Brussels sprouts. But putting bacon with them just makes me even better. Mmm. And this is such an easy thing to do on the grill, as you saw. Few ingredients, 40 minutes of cook time, 10 or 15 minutes of prep time. I mean, you could sit this on the grill while you're grilling something direct on the other side. Mmm. Very, very slight hint of that cayenne. If you like it spicier, I'd go even heavier with that. I would have probably put more. I like spicy. Mmm. And remember, once again, you can cook these as long as you want to get that crispness that you desire. If you want the bottoms a little crispier, move it over direct for a little bit on top of the charcoal. You know, get the bottom of that cast iron pan even hotter. Hmm. The key is giving those Brussels sprouts enough time to become tender. 30, 40 minutes, you're good on that. If you go longer with the bacon to crisp it up more, it's not gonna hurt the Brussels sprouts. They're just gonna be a little more tender. I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to check out some of the other videos on my channel and consider subscribing. And if you do, click that bell for notifications. Thank you all for watching. Hope you have a great evening and I'll see you again soon.